I want to start with a bit of a mock draft roundup sure. from around baseball. What we have been reading and seeing. Uh, we'll start with Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline, who in his latest mock draft had the Orioles selecting Hurston Waltrip, right-handed pitcher from Florida. We've talked about him a few times on this show. He also notes that it keeps coming back to the same candidates for the Orioles from what Jim Callis is hearing. And that is Hurston Waldrop, Arjun Namala, Aiden Miller, Blake Mitchell, Bryce Eldridge, Noah Shanwa. Yeah, I mean, all guys that we've talked Nolan, about. Nolan, excuse me. Nolan Shanwa. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, all guys we've talked about and all guys who have pretty high ceilings, Waldrop, the pitcher, of course. I mean, that guy, the SEC power arm with the great fastball and the great splitter, is somebody I could definitely see in this draft. You've got Bryce Eldridge, who's the two-way guy out of high school, the outfielder with the 6'7", 220 frame, uh, and the, the pitcher's arm in the outfield who can hit bombs. So many great players on that list. Um there's so many places they can go. You just have to hope that those guys are available when they pick. Right. Um, which is going to be a doozy because this draft is filled with a lot of great talent. So that's where Jim Callis went. We'll go to Keith Law, the athletic, the much talked about Keith Law. He had the Orioles at number 17, selecting Arjun Namala, the high school shortstops. Keith Law noting that, quote, all the rumors here are bats, which may be to the chagrin of some Orioles fans, all the rumors here are bats, mostly high school, and notes that Namala and Bryce Eldridge are the two biggest names that he is hearing from the high school bat pool, and then Shanwell as well from the college ranks. That's where Keith Law went. He also said that the Orioles could go Noble Meyer if he is there. Noble Meyer okay. is the top prep pitching prospect in this That's draft class. Uh, well, that's how Meyer is is ranked. Well, Keith among, Law just told me it's all bats. Maybe not all bats. <laughs> Noble Meyer is the name that the Orioles could go, but he would have to fall to number 17 to get there. Noble Meyer usually mocked in the top 10. And notes as well that Michael Elias took Forrest Whitley at number 17 overall as the scouting director for the Astros at the time. I feel like a lot of the, the conversation... Um, from a lot of people is this guy's going to have to fall. That guy's going to have to fall. So maybe it's a maybe on draft night we're going to be sitting there like, all right, that's the guy that fell. It's probably that guy. If it's not that, he's going to pick somebody that's not on any of these lists. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that that's probably a higher percent chance than people think. Um, but you got to put your faith in the guy at this point. Right. Baseball Prospect Journal, going with Braden Taylor, the third baseman from TCU. Okay. He is often mocked in the top 10. He would have to have a little bit of a slide to number 17. And then Future Stars Series, mocking Bryce Eldridge to the Orioles at number 17, a high school bat we have talked about a lot, we have heard about a lot. That notes that the Orioles are said to have, quote, really valued the skill set of Namala, Arjun Namala, the high school shortstop, and have also liked what they've seen from Taylor, being Braden Taylor, the third baseman from TCU, and Davis, who is Chase Davis, the outfielder from Arizona, and that a Baltimore also apparently really likes Michigan State infielder Mitch Jeb, who is ranked a little bit lower in these draft prospect rankings, but he would be a potential underslot signing so that the Orioles could sign somebody overslot later on in the draft. Okay. So Bryce Eldridge, the mock for Future Star Series there. I like Future Star Series. I'm with them. Yeah. So of the mocks there, we have heard Waldrop, Namala, Braden Taylor, Bryce Eldridge, with a lot of the conversation being around high school bats. I mean, I can't say I'm entirely surprised. No. Um, that's, that's, I think where you and I both thought this conversation around the Orioles 17th pick would go. Yeah. Um, because there's so much talent there in this draft. If this talent was, you know, the first 10 guys are all arms. I think maybe that's what we would be talking about, but that's just not the case here. Um, a, a lot of really, really good bats in this draft and a lot of guys, uh, who I think could be Orioles draft picks. Uh, but I still like Eldridge. I don't know about you. Yeah. Well, let's get into our personal picks here a little bit. Also did have a conversation with Brad Selick yesterday, which 
we'll be we'll be getting out there today. Uh, he did note how much talent there was pitching wise in this draft. Talked about some of the great pitchers that we saw in Omaha with True. Hurston Waldrop, of course, with Paul Skeens at the top of the draft. Rhett Lauder for Wake Forest, who you know would be a, a great pick for the Orioles at seventeen if if he were to fall. So the Orioles are at least considering pitchers from the conversation that we yeah. had with Brad Selick yesterday. Maybe that's a red herring. It, it could be because <laughs> the Orioles chess, man. have not selected a pitcher under the Michael Elias era here. I'm not sure if they're going to do it this year. If the right one falls, I do believe the hype with Noble Meyer from a conversation that I had with, with Joe Doyle from Future Star Series yesterday as well. He noted that Noble Meyer might have the upside of like a Grayson Rodriguez coming out of high school. So if Meyer is there at number 17, from what we have been reading and and kind of hearing, maybe he would be a selection there. But I don't think they're going to reach on a pitcher just because the notion is that they could use another pitcher if there is a high school bat there or a well-established college bat that they really like. Noble Meyer sounds like a name the Orioles would go with. Like yeah, just good baseball name, name. Like Noble Meyer. It's a good baseball that name. sounds like a Baltimore Orioles prospect, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, I think a lot of Orioles fans would like to see them take an arm. 